up everybody, this is Kevin with Trout's Fly Fishing Denver. Just wanted to uh, do a what's in my bag winter edition here. Decided to scale down a little bit for the colder temps. So we have the Umqua ZS2 Ledges 500 pack. Decided to scale down a little bit for the colder temps. So we have the Umqua ZS2 Ledges 500 pack. Um, both comes in the 500 and 650, but this one is a little better for some more compact winter time. I guess we'll start on the outside of the pack first. Obviously up top I've got my, my tippet log here. I've got um, 0x through basically 7x of fluoro, and then 4x through 7x of nylon, both for nymphing and dry fly fishing. Um, we got the thermometer, not super effective right now, but we got it on there. Let's see outside of the pack, we've got the zingers that go on the inside underneath the bag there. For me, I like to keep on my, uh, my nippers on there, my leader straightener. Also have the, uh, the fly pad here just to dry them off a little bit. Um, nice and easily accessible. One of my favorite things about this pack is those features. Kind of keeps uh, dangling stuff kind of contained a little bit so it's not getting caught up on your fly line. Um, right in line with that same type of feature, the spot for your hemostats. Right up front there, they just slide in nice and tight. Easy place to grab, stays out of the way. So a couple of my favorite features right there. Um, obviously the fly patch on top gets a lot of use as well. Um, drying out dry flies, that sort of thing. If you're setting up rigs in the winter time and wanna take them out, get them prepared, that's a spot to do it. So um, another favorite feature, but uh, besides that, um, in the pockets up front, I've got all of the indicators. This is basically airlocks, thingamabobbers, foam, stuff like that. And then I've got my New Zealand strike indicator kit. Super effective for the winter time. Um, low flows, you want a little bit more delicate uh, presentation and that includes with your indicator. So um, New Zealand kind of hits the water like a dry fly. Still want to put some floating on there um, and you will need to you know, either replace the floating or the nylon on there because um, it will sink. But for winter time, super effective, highly recommended. Uh, other pocket up front here, I've got some extra leaders as well. Uh, 3X nine foot Umqua there. Um, for me, leaders should be the size of the largest tippet I'm gonna use. So three through five X is kind of my, my zone. So three X leader is pretty much what I always use. Occasionally, um, you know, small creek or dry fly specific rods, I might use like a four or five X leader. Almost always three X though. Good to have backups of those. Um, on the outside as well, one of the cool features of these packs is they come with uh, floating caddies and holders as well. So <coughs> got the gel floating over on the side. Dry Magic is perfect for winter. Um, I do like gink quite a bit, but Dry Magic does not get hard when it gets cold outside. If anybody's used gink in the winter time, you have to really squeeze that bottle to get it out. Don't have that issue with dry magic, so winter time, highly recommend that. Obviously your powder floating, um, good at any time of the year. Um, other than that, you do have a couple side pockets on the outside, um, small stuff like a net seine and things like that work well there, but nothing in there at the moment. I guess jump into the inside of the pack as well. It is winter time, but I did bring a couple rods here, both a nymph rig and a dry fly rig. We may not see any rises at all, um, but there is a chance that we will. Even if you don't, still a good time. You can throw dry flies year round, even if you're not seeing rises. Um, doesn't always mean you have to throw small stuff either. You can throw big old, you know, foamy dry flies as well. So always have the dry fly box, even in the winter time. Um, waterproof on both sides. Obviously you can see what's in there. Typically do small stuff and large stuff, but that'll stay in the pack for winter. We've got a couple little nymph boxes here. This is going to be the bead box for the most part. Anything heavy, jig flies, Euro stuff. Um, I've got some other small like midges and betas on the other side as well. Another pack of strictly small stuff, midges, mostly RS2s, pheasant tails, that sort of thing. I really like these uh, tacky boxes, especially for the uh, winter time, but even in general, but for nymphs, um, small flies, stuff like that, bead heads. You can fit a ton of flies. I think it's, um, I think it's like over 200, 250 flies. So um, when you're trying to pack in a lot of those small bugs, especially for the winter time, these tacky boxes from Fish Pond are pretty clutch. Got a couple of those guys there. Peg egg kit, can't go wrong with that. 
Everything in here is going to be beads. I've got some stuff for leeches, worms, even shrimp, and then some extra hooks in there as well. Um, same thing, obviously nothing's really spawning in the winter, but good to have some stuff that they will probably eat nonetheless. Uh, and that same, like I said before, good to take a little uh, river sample here and there. With the uh, peg egg kit, always have some extra hooks. Pack on hand is always good, whether or not it's for that, just to have as extras. Got some swivels as well. I'm a huge fan of these nymph rigs, streamer rigs, um, pretty much anything subsurface gets a swivel for me. Um, if you notice on my dry fly rig too, I also use tippet rings. Um, so tippet rings, swivels, they just make life a little easier all around. Fish measure for the big boys, of course, or the nine inch fish, that, that too. Fishing license. And of course, some uh, latex gloves for the winter time. Good to keep your hands dry. And then uh, finally on the inside here, we've got the rig saver. Huge for, again, winter time, just in general, it's good. But winter time, your hands are cold, trying to keep them exposed as little as possible. Uh, before we got out today, we rigged up three or four things just so that if we want to switch flies, pull them off here, makes it super easy. This is one I made, Orvis makes one. Um, I think uh, SA does too, um, so does Loon. So anything that'll uh, serve as a rig saver, some kind of foam will work really well, winter time and throughout the year. Um, Cool, yeah, that's about it. Got everything uh, everything for the wintertime fishing. Like I said, this is all gonna be useful year round, but particularly as temperatures get cold, fish aren't moving around as much, they're not eating as big of bugs, so it can kind of scale down some of that stuff. You don't need to carry as much crap with you. Um, but always good to have the essentials in there. Um, if you have any questions, obviously you can find me at Trout's Denver. Um, Kevin at troutsflyfishing.com, however you can find me. Um, we'd love to answer your questions.